most people when they come to a hearing aid evaluation, they don't know what kind of questions to ask. So I give them those kind of information uh, and then you know you may want to ask things like, based on my audiogram, what style of hearing aid I need to be in, okay? And the different styles are what's called completely in the canal, canal, in the ear, or they're all in the ear, it requires making a mold, and behind the ear hearing aids. The other thing you need to ask is, how long do batteries last in that particular style of hearing aid, okay? And I would say, uh, how long do you think the battery would last? And uh, they said, well, you know, I don't know, I didn't think about it. Well, the batteries typically last, depending on the hearing aid, if it's a really small hearing aid that most people want, uh, that's more expensive, the battery only lasts about three to four days. Then the, as you get bigger, it can last anywhere from, let's say, three to four days to almost, let's say, mm, two weeks for a battery. You need to ask, if I come in to have my hearing aids adjusted, do I need to pay for that? Okay. And do I have only a limited number of times that I can come in for you know, adjustments for my hearing test? Okay. You can ask, if I have anything wrong with my ears, let's say wax, can you take that out? Or can you take care of that? Uh, you need to ask, how long is my warranty? You need to ask, do you have lost and damage? So if I lose my hearing aid, if I had needed to be replaced, uh, you know, how much would it cost me? Do I have to pay for a whole new hearing aid? Can I extend that warranty? Side note, the good thing to do is instead of extending that loss and damage on your hearing aid, put it on your homeowner's insurance. Because that way, it may be another $2, $5 on your premium. Because if you do it through the, um, to the facility that you're getting your hearing aid from, it may be pricey. So that after your first year or two, you might want to put it on your homeowner's insurance. And that's what we typically tell patients. We automatically do that on every hearing aid when they first get it, because chances are if you're going to lose it, it's going to be within the first few months, but we do it the whole year. And it will, you won't have to buy a new hearing aid again, but there is a fee um, to replace it, but it's way less than buying a new hearing aid. And that's a one-time event for each ear, but you need to know if other facilities provide that. So I like to give people information so they know to maybe ask questions like that. Or, you know, I like, you know, what's the difference between this having, you know, six bands and this hearing aid having 20 bands, you know. And it's kind of like, let's say, an equalizer on a stereo. The more bands you can actually manipulate, the clearer the sound is going to be. So those are kind of things I, I would like to inform patients at the time we do a hearing test and say, when you come back or if you come back, you, you know, most people come in with a notepad and say, okay, I'm going to ask these questions. And our job is to answer those questions. Uh, and our job is to really to inform them to make the decision that they need to make.